Hi everyone, Quivin here from the comfort of my kitchen. Happy April Fool's Day. In today's video, we are going to firstly take a look at Mercury. In the last video, or potentially the video before that, uh, we took a look at Mercury coming to its greatest elongation and how that wouldn't really be visible for us here in Ireland. So we can see this is our current view of the sun. If we move into the future, we can see Mercury moving further away from the sun. Just around here, it seems to stop moving away from the sun and start coming back in towards the sun. So that would be Mercury's greatest elongation. Uh, that's when it's reaching its furthest from the sun and then starting to turn around and come back in towards the sun. So we can see that happening just about there. Uh, so it looks like it's getting to its greatest elongation uh, just around the, uh, the 20th. It stays about the same distance from the sun. So Venus, for example, is nice and bright there, a little bit further from the sun. If we come back, we can see Venus there is about as far from the sun as Mercury will get at its greatest elongation. But Venus here is, well, it's still a little bit higher in the sky. If we bring up the ecliptic, the ecliptic is almost the sun's equator projected out into space. It's definitely, as we see it, the plane uh, around the sun where kind of everything is. So we put up the ecliptic there. Looks like Jupiter is dead on the ecliptic. We can see that Mercury is pretty much dead on the ecliptic as well. But Venus is quite a bit above the ecliptic and that is important, uh, especially for those of us in the northern hemisphere, uh, for visibility. So we can see here in the morning, especially once the sun is actually below the horizon, Mercury and Saturn are much lower in the sky than Venus. And if we come back just a little bit, we can see that Venus is still above the horizon while the sun is under the horizon. But by the time Mercury and Saturn are up, well, there's pretty much a limb of the sun already coming above the horizon at that point. If we move forward to the greatest elongation of Mercury, oh, just about yeah, there somewhere, uh, we can see that Mercury is now very much under the ecliptic. So it's still pretty much on the horizon as the sun is coming up it's much much lower in the sky than venus so turning the atmosphere back on we'll keep the ecliptic up because it is a good guide we can see that mercury and saturn they're pretty much out of view we can't really see them at all this is from here in ireland and with any light pollution that a city may have as usual we're assuming the view from a city like cork so a medium amount of light pollution i suppose if we had an incredibly dark sky with no light pollution at all, well, it looks like Saturn and Mercury are still in... Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> this is as visible as they get. So that, you can see how Mercury and Saturn look there in comparison to Venus. They're so low that the atmosphere is also going to make them fainter. And Mercury is not quite as bright as Venus, neither is Saturn. And we can see that the sky is a little bit brighter down there than it is up here, uh, thanks to the way the sun's light is moving through the atmosphere. So it all adds up to make Mercury pretty impossible to view for us here in Ireland. We shouldn't have to move too far south to get this visible. So we'll start by moving uh, just down to about here. So this is you know, pretty much level uh, with France there, and there's Mercury, and there's Saturn. From the countryside at least, just that little bit of a jump. Now, one of the reasons why Mercury and Saturn here are so much easier to see is because they are higher from the horizon. They're higher above that thicker portion of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is kind of the same thickness all the way around, but because these lights are shining through the atmosphere at a very oblique angle here, rather than kind of shining straight down, on our position, and that means they're passing through more atmosphere due to the angle. Now, this is just about visible, but I have an odd feeling that if we were to come back into a city, uh, even a smaller city like Cork, then they might disappear. They're still showing up if we pull back just a little bit, they, they do disappear. So we can see Saturn and Mercury, they're definitely harder to see from the city. Of course, that is a pretty obvious thing of course they're harder to see from the city everything is so we'll move a little bit closer to the equator again we're down here by uh spain 
a lot of the Mediterranean at the very top of the United States. And there we go. There's Mercury and Saturn visible even from a city sky. So I didn't uh, put the light pollution back down here. So there they are, definitely visible. And we're still definitely in the Northern Hemisphere here. You know, 39 uh, degrees uh, north. 39 degrees north is definitely, definitely in the Northern Hemisphere. It's not even in the tropics. We're not even that close to the equator, just a little bit closer than we are here in Ireland. So we can see there for a range of days, Mercury, uh, uh, they stay visible along with Venus. And we can see as, as we get later here, we can see that Mercury gets quite visible or at least quite high but we are getting closer and closer to sunrise as well. If we allow Mercury to get as far out there as it will and then come back a little bit earlier, you know, it's a pretty visible spot, Mercury and Saturn there, now that we're a bit closer to the equator. If we keep pushing down, uh, we'll jump a little bit further this time. Uh, we'll jump all the way down here to the north of Africa, kind of the middle of the United States. They're nice and high above it here. And we can even see uh, Saturn and Mercury getting pretty close together. So Saturn and Mercury do have a pretty close pass here around Mercury's greatest elongation uh, before Mercury sort of turns around and Saturn continues on its path away from the Sun. Mercury and Saturn do get quite close just around there and that's something we're not going to be able to see from here in Ireland. But from this position, significantly closer to the equator, it's absolutely fine. If we jump right down, we won't go all the way to the equator just yet. Uh, we'll take one more jump in between. There we go, Saturn and Mercury, nice and close together. And we can see that they do get quite high above the horizon there as well, forming a nice kind of grouping in the early morning. So just before sunrise, super clear there from closer to the equator, 13 degrees north. So we're definitely within the tropics here, kind of right in the middle of the uh, more northern tropic but there's the three planets venus mercury and saturn all together so there is a chance in april if you are close enough to the equator or on the equator that you will get to see more planets in the morning than you do in the evening it was really the evening sky that was dominated by planets for uh, all of the beginning of the year really with the parade of planets going on but we can see here that from close enough to the equator over the course of April, we've got these three planets in the morning sky. We've only got two in the evening sky. We've only got Jupiter and Mars. We do technically have Uranus in the evening sky as well, but it is incredibly difficult to see. And if we are going with technically, you know, there is Neptune in the morning sky. It is technically out there. Of course, Neptune is going to be very, very difficult to see. If we move into the southern hemisphere, again, because of the angle, we're going to jump pretty far into the southern hemisphere to start with because we do have to be quite far into the south. So we can see there they almost look, the ecliptic almost looks like it's getting straight up into the sky. We are here after moving into southern winter. So the season is also going to affect the angle at which we see the ecliptic and how we see these planets in the sky. So we are after, we're after moving into a different, uh, a different season. So that's going to affect our angles here as well. We'll keep moving, but we'll need to go significantly further south. Oh, well, we'll come over to here, trying to keep the time the same. Uh, we'll need to go significantly further south to start getting the effect I want. So here we can see that Saturn and Mercury appear a little bit higher than Venus in the sky. The angle isn't quite extreme enough yet to block out Venus. It's not as extreme as the uh, comparable angle from here in Ireland. But of course, we're getting into summertime. So we're going to see the ecliptic at quite a shallow angle in comparison. We'll go a little bit further. Uh, I do want to get, you know, this is even further south than we are north here in Ireland. So let's see if I can get this to work. Well, Venus, Mercury and Saturn are still visible. So it looks like the angle doesn't get extreme enough, more than likely thanks to the season, to completely block out Venus, as it did um, when we were seeing the double Venus. So a few, well, last month, at the end of March, we were able to see Venus in the evening and in the morning because Venus was pretty much above the sun. So we can see here, just at the very beginning of April, there's Mercury and Saturn, but Venus isn't visible yet. It's still under the horizon in that case because of the angle. So we can see that as we move back into the end of March. 
But it looks like by the time we're into April, Venus is coming down towards the ecliptic here again. So that's going to keep it visible. And we can see there a really nice view of those three planets in the morning if you are far enough into the south. Those are the planets that we're going to get to see in the morning, or at least the planets that some people are going to get to see in the morning over the course of April. So April is significantly different from March uh, in terms of what planets we can see and where we can see them. So we're going to get all of the planets together in the sky. But as long as you are in the right location, and for here in Ireland, being in the countryside will really help with the visibility of Mercury and Saturn. But as long as you're in the right place, we're going to have a fair few planets uh, becoming visible over the course of April. We're just after moving through to the end of April. Yeah, close to the end of April. Oh, actually past the end of April. Just through to the end of April here for us here in Ireland. And we can see that once Saturn has sort of overtaken Venus, we are getting to see it in the sky. But even though Mercury is quite far from the sun here, definitely not catching it from here in the city. Hopefully you will get to catch it if you're in a different location. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like it. Uh, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. And you can read some of this information if you head to my website, greenbeanscontent.ie. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you back here next time.